Good afternoon, everybody out there. Brian here. Joining with me is Adam Zuckerman, director of Ventures and Innovation. Ventures and Innovation for Discovery. We're here in beautiful Austin. It's a little cold right now, but at least it's not snowing. I mean, we're sitting here, it's probably like 60 degrees or whatever. Well, in DC right now, there can be 70 inches of snow. So. Right, so we're all happy that we're here, not there. We've apparently broken the weather. Definitely, man. <laughs> Thanks so much for sitting down with me. Of How's course. your South by Southwest been so far? Fantastic. Uh, yeah. It's a little bit different as every single South by Southwest that I've been to over the past several years and it is. But uh, the conversations are wonderful as always. Absolutely. What's been kind of the big standout for you so far? I know we're still kind of just barely into it, but anything really stuck out for you so far? Yes and no. So it, it's sort of the same message that happened at CES in very different ways. Um, Innovation, which is the buzzword that everybody's talking about, the, the reality is that it just means progress. And there's two types of progress. There's incremental progress and disruptive progress. And a lot of the progress that we're seeing now is incremental for the majority of it. You know, we have a new TV show, we have a new web stream, we have a new app, we have a new XYZ or a new installation. And then the question is, well, if that's the reality, where's the disruption? And the trick is the disruption is not necessarily in the panels that you can go and see, which had to be submitted quite some time ago. Oh yeah. But rather it's it's in the in what you can't see. It's in the conversations and the ephemeral uh, things that, that are around that you run in on street corners and at meetings. Like this very conversation right now. It, this isn't a panel. Exactly. Great, for sure. So the the biggest tech that I'm seeing, the biggest thing is the invisible layer. It's how things come together for people, how the apps are going to start interacting with you, how AI and machine learning is going to be impacting right. not only how we interact with people, but how we interact with ourselves. Um, it's a really weird week. It is. Yeah, I feel it's definitely had a different vibe. I know I've seen some pieces out there where it says the bubble is burst and yeah. all that. I, I really don't understand what they're coming off with. They're saying because XYZ company doesn't have a big party, the bubble burst, so people jump to conclusions. I don't think that there's any less. I'm sure we'll have record numbers again. I don't know what you well, observed. It, it depends how you look at it. So yeah, that's true. people come to South by for different reasons. Sure. The panels are really interesting. They still are. For example, uh, yesterday I was in one that talked about how future-facing technologies are going to be able to leverage artificial intelligence and machine learning to impact uh, the analysis of satellite imagery. So now you can do shopping mall analysis and predict whether or not Kmart is going to be having record-breaking sales or on down times based on how many cars are in the parking lot. And welcome to live, Austin. This uh, is why it's live, folks. Yep. Or, or it'll be countermeasures from retail stores putting up trees or awnings over parking lots so companies can't go in and, and make those predictive analyses. The, the, the conference itself, it changes. For me, it's more about the relationships that I build than finding the breakout technology. Right. Because the breakout technologies that I find are from the conversations, from the side events that you might not even need a badge for. Right. South by is a convener of people, it's a convener of companies. And whether or not you're an actual sponsor or participant, it doesn't mean that you're going to have a great experience. Yep. For sure. That being said, um, what can you tell us about what's changed for you over the years and maybe some things that Discovery's been working on for this year? Yeah. So Discovery's doing great things at, at South by. Last year we had an installation uh, with Gillette. This year we sent a bunch of people down for, for panels and just to find out what's going on. Uh, VR is a hot topic for us, obviously. We've got a sure. Discovery VR app that has over 140 360 video experiences on it. Wow. Yeah, you can Amazing. go and download it now on, the, on Drop iOS, us some links for all that in this so we can yeah, so share. Yeah, so discoveryvr.com, it's one of the leaders in the space. Amazing. And we've been doing it since you know VR became hot and was, was growing, and we're going to iterate on that. But the, the trick for us is we want to make sure that consumers find us as a creative, curiosity-driven company, which is what our mission is. I mean, Shark Week, it's, a, it's all our other brands as well. Absolutely. So we're, we're here. Tremendous, man. There's a couple of people commenting in here. Right. Uh, Thad says, real talk is better than panel talk? I think so. Yeah. I think panel talk is so boxed in and pre-prepared. I mean, there's people that are brilliant, and I'd love to hear what they say, yeah. and I do. But I would say, I, I personally, I don't know about yeah. you, Adam, I love having conversations like this, small crowds, more intimate settings, than more of that kind of prepackaged sort of thing. And it's, it's, it's interesting. Yeah. It's how you game the system, so to speak, to, to yes. use air quotes. I'll go to a panel not necessarily to hear what the people are saying, because if you have 45 minutes or an hour and you have four people on a panel, that after introductions, that's seven minutes per. Right? Right. That's not a lot of time to get granular. 
However, what you can do is go up and say, hey, I was very interested in what you said. Can I have a follow-up? Or you can tweet at the person or reach out to them and have the, the breakout session. So before this, I was at a VR and sports talk. After this, I'm hoping to go and sit down with one of the people that was on the panel. Um, the, the magic about South By is that it convenes people that can then do things that aren't necessarily up. And if you look at how conferences work, they get the speakers in, so the people will come in, so the brands will come in. Right. Once everybody's in the same space, then the magic happens. Absolutely. And South by just, they have it so right. I mean, I think it pumps something like $250 million it's into the money. local economy in two yeah. weeks. I mean, who does that? Yeah, it's... So they keep giving people a reason. They do, and there's yeah. a reason why conferences are so successful, and people spend hundreds of millions of dollars a year, sure. uh, not only on brands, but, but individuals dropping thousands of dollars to travel. And if you look at competing competitions now, or, and I say competitions because they really are they competitions. They are, very true. Uh, with Collision in New Orleans, right. uh, Web Summit, same company with Patty, Car has, Patty uh, Cosgrove, I believe his last sure. name is, yep. uh, from, from the Web Summit group. The Rise Up in, in Hong Kong, you've got CES, everybody yeah. has Mobile what they're looking for. Sure. Yeah, MPC. Yep. People love to meet with other people, and quite frankly, it's a great excuse to go and check out a wonderfully warm, sunny city like Austin. Yeah. <laughs> a little chilly today, but it'll get there. No. Oh, hey, Andy. Uh, let's see. An Andy Grignan says, Adam, totally agree. The good information <laughs> doesn't come from panels or sessions, but in the bar and one-to-one -one based personal relationships. T For those of you who don't know Andy, Andy was like one of the first people who worked on the iPhone. So Andy's thanks trouble. Thanks for joining, man. Uh, Andy's trouble. <laughs> Andy's trouble. He's a good hey, guy, Andy, though. are you here? No. I'm not here. Oh, man. I wish it was here. Miss you. Um, he, he is one of those tech luminaries that always has a great story. Ask him about his food related nickname at Apple sometime. Oh, boy. And, uh, and you'll get a laugh. Well, we're tagging you, Andy, so. Yeah. <laughs> Outstanding. Um, any other advice for people? I mean, you've been going a long time. What number is this for you here? I, I lost count. You don't to be even honest. know. Okay. It's a bunch. It's number eight um, for me, so. Yeah. <laughs> what. Um, what would you wish that you would have told yourself on number one or anybody who's kind of new to it ignore, that's thinking about it? Ignore FOMO. You cannot go to everything. There's so many people here in oh, so many hotels. Yep. You can't go. Pick the one, two, three panels that you really want to go to or the duration that you're here. Make sure to go to those. And then go up and talk to people. Everybody here is open. Uh, always remember to never speak in absolutes. The worst thing that happens if you go up to somebody and they say, I don't want to talk to you, is you don't talk to them and you find somebody else. Right. And be open and, and expose yourself to those unsuspecting conversations. The other thing is, and it depends on the room, sometimes they kick people out to clear to let the next line in. Fair point. Sometimes it seems like they let you in. It yeah. used to be that if you really wanted to get into a, a session, you'd go to the session beforehand and just stay inside the room and you learn something completely different from uh, from the topic that you were, were going to learn. Now they're a little bit more organized with the tracks of TV media is here, sports is over here, gaming VR is over there. But, they've broken out a few, like yep. EDU and ECO, yep. But just the, the trick is talk to everybody, remain open, wear sneakers, drink a lot of water, eat as many tacos as you can, um, and try and go to the food trucks instead of going to the restaurants. Well said, sir. Any final thoughts, anybody from the crowd? I want to respect that time. This is fun. Yeah, this is great. I mean, I love doing these. We always do this every year, and it's just, it's so fulfilling for everybody who, like, thinks they're going to have FOMO. We always try to find such a mix of different people to interview, and this has been so great, man. So I can't thank you enough for thank you. spending some time with us today. Happy to be here. Thanks so much. Enjoy, everybody. Talk to you all soon. Take care.